Hello, my name is Oliver Lietz. I'm the founder and CEO of Nanocosmos. We are at IBC Amsterdam here and we show our new product, Nanostream Cloud 2022. New updates on all ends of the live streaming workflow from the ingest to the live streaming network, CDN to the playback, all based for interactive use cases based on alt hollow latency live streaming. So Nanostream Cloud 2022 has a lot of improvements on the workflow, especially for adaptive bitrate transcoding, which means that you adapt the bitrate to the network situation of the playback. And it makes it now very easy to create and manage these streams for any kind of network. The most uh, usage is on mobile, so it's very important to have a net stable network on every mobile device. You can instantly watch the live stream on any browser, open it up and have direct access to the live stream of the application. On top of the live stream, we provide tools for improving the quality of experience for the live streams to get more insights into the data and analytics for a global scale. So we have uh, server installations worldwide a lot of server locations in Asia, South America, North America, Europe. So it's important for our customers to get insight on the, the quality of service of these streams. And we also have stream protection for these applications. So you can protect your live streams against misuse, create tokens very easily for better integration into your business workflows. We now also introduce new upstream ingest protocols, SRT, WebRTC, on top of the existing RTMP ingest. So that's very important for um, instable network situations where you need a error protected live stream, either from a studio based environment, from OBS software, any kind of software or hardware encoder, or web based encoding based on WebRTC. Our system is 100% uh, stable. We have been operating since 2016, since we introduced Nanostream Cloud. We don't have any downtime in the last year, so it's very robust, very stable in any uh, part of the world. So you can easily integrate that and rely on the system for your business applications. Maybe some word on the use cases. So it's used for two main uh, purposes. One is the kind of corporate space, enterprise space, where you use that for webcasting of town hall meetings annual general meetings to share your live stream with a large audience worldwide, to let the audience interact, to give them feedback for voting, questions, polling things. And the other use case is monetized models for auctioning, betting, gaming, sports betting, for example, where you directly need to monetize your content based on real-time interaction, which is very important to have a large outreach on any device with 100% success rate. So what we are showing here is a live stream which is running with uh, several adaptive bitrate live transcoding qualities, high, medium and low, and automatically adjusts to the right uh, network quality. We are on a quite bad network here at the IVC, so it's uh, lowest bitrate which is selected. And we also provide a new dashboard now, which is uh, easy to use for managing the live streams. You have a list of your live streams. You can create live streams, including transcoding and create new uh, live streams uh, very easily. You can protect them with the tokens. You can uh, preview the live streams with your player here. There's a code snippet to integrate that into your own application for copy paste that to your web pages. And uh, you have full control over the workflow here. And on top of that, you, we also show the uh, metrics dashboard, which is uh, giving you insight into the quality of service of the live streams with uh, the usage over time, but also a world map to see uh, on which part of the world the, uh, uh, you have different uh, parts of the volume, you have possible impacts in the workflow and can improve your, uh, the whole business workflow. So we are back at IBC Amsterdam. We have been showing here for several years and of course not in the gap. So it's the first show again after three years of uh, Corona. We are very happy to be here, so there's a lot of attention and traction going on here So for these in-person meetings and uh, looking forward to uh, the next shows.